Hello everyone. This is the part two of start stop version two solution series. In this video, I'll show the step by step deployment of this solution and then test the functionality using the scheduled stop start sequenced as well as auto stop. But before proceeding with the lab, if you haven't seen the first video, I would highly recommend because in that video, I have provided the breakdown of the solution and explained all of its components. And for others, let's start the deployment now. I'm logged into Azure portal now, but if you look for start, stop, VM, there is one solution, marketplace solution, which is provided. And if you'll go there, you can start deploying it from here. But because Microsoft is not updating this solution, let's go to the documentation. This is the documentation page. I'll provide the link of this documentation in the description of this video. And if we'll go to the deploy and configure. So the link for the GitHub organization is provided there. You'll click there. You go into the start stop VM during off hours overview version two. And if we'll talk about the global Azure, there are two options. One for deploying the latest version, another one for getting the latest version. If you are already using the solution, then using this option, you will update the solution itself as Microsoft has stopped the auto update feature. So if we'll click on deploy to Azure, then it's coming back here. So that means we can deploy using this solution. Let's click on create. So this is the subscription and the region will be Australia East. Resource group name, you need to provide the resource group. So quickly, I'll just create a resource group now. RG start stop and in this resource group all the resources will be created for the solution so if you want to remove the solution you can just delete the resource group itself so resource group is created let's copy the name of the resource group RG start stop and for the function app name start stop function 01 and the application insight will be start stop AI. The region will be Australia East. Let's provide the storage account name. It should be something unique. Start stop shell in the 01 and the workspace name start stop WRK01 and the workspace region will be Australia East. And I'll provide the email address shalender chaudhvi1988 at gmail.com. And this email address will be configured in the action group using which I'll get the notification. Next, let's confirm all the details. It's doing the final validation and create. So the deployment has started now and I'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's done. The deployment is successful now and there are different resources which are created. Let's go to subscription and instead let's go to resource group. resource group name is RG start stop and here you go you can see there are a lot of resources which are created five logic apps one storage account where the storage queue as well as table is being used log analytics workspace action group where my email address will be added for the notification the shared dashboard app service plan where the function app is created and there are multiple functions in this function app and all of this has been discussed in the previous video. To test the stop start feature, I have created two virtual machines. One is non prod, another one is prod. So virtual machines, non prod VM in different resource group and prod VM in the different resource group. Let's quickly open the resource group here. And let's start with the scheduled start and stop. 
let's check the status of these virtual machines. They are not running right now. They are in stop state or delocated state. So let's start these virtual machines. So let's go to logic app schedule start. Go to the logic app designer and click on the recurrence. I'll select the time zone. So this will be Canberra, Melbourne and the current time is 11.40. So let's set it up 11, 45 and let's go to scheduled and we have to define either the resource group subscription or the virtual machine list. So I'll go with the virtual machine list and to find this list, what we have to do is let's go to our function, start, stop, Azure function, go to manage and scroll down. Sorry, go to deploy and scroll down till you see the VM list. And here's the VM list. Copy it here. So it's a start function and there is no excluded VM list right now. And let's provide the VM list here. Let's copy the resource ID of this virtual machine. Copy. Let's do the same thing for another virtual machine, which is prod virtual machine. Copy. Okay. And let's remove this third option. We just want two virtual machines to be added here. And these two virtual machines will be stopped or start based on what's been defined in the parameters. So let's save this now and it's successfully saved. There are three minutes left. And to quickly check, do we have permissions on these virtual machines? Let's go to their resource group, rgprod, access control, role assignment. And here you can see start stop function. As I've already mentioned, this function app has contributor level access on the whole of subscription. So let's go back to logic app and after two minutes there will be a run history. Let's close this. Right now there is no run history or the trigger history. Refresh it. There is nothing and this will trigger the start within two minutes. So now let's go back to our function app and the schedule stop. Before that let me copy from the start itself, logic app designer, schedule, and let's copy these parameters. Now go to another logic app, schedule stop, go to logic app designer. In the schedule, provide the parameters and instead of start, it will be stop. Save it and let's change the recurrence to be Australia time zone. Let's set it up for eleven fifty and save. So now according to this. 11.45 these virtual machines should start and 11.50 they will shut down based on the schedule which we have defined. So this is pretty straightforward. Both the virtual machines will start and stop at the same time and both will be triggered together. And one step which I have forgot about is I will quickly go to the start. There is no run history still. And the reason is because the status is disabled. So let me quickly go back to App Designer, 
let's set it up for 47 because it's almost time and I'll enable this logic app enable and enable the stop one too and let's go to start and as soon as we have enabled it has triggered so soon the virtual machine will start but this is triggered at 1146 we have set it up for 1147 another trigger should happen at 1147 so one thing to remember here is as soon as you will enable the logic app the first trigger will happen immediately and then based on the schedule which is defined so this will be a little bit messy because we have enabled both together so it's stop and start together as you can see here in the stop also it's triggered so let's see the status of the virtual machine it will go to non-prod vm refresh it anything has happened here it will go to the activity logs there is nothing and it's 11.51 right now and both the triggers have failed for the start let's check the reason for this And if we'll go to terminate the client this with object ID this one does not have authorization to perform on subscription read let's go to the resource group and let's go to function app and if we'll go to identity I think they're talking about the same role assignment and it has contributor level access. Let's provide the authorization again. So let's first remove this, go to the subscription, I am role assignments, remove this, delete from the whole subscription. And now let's add back again. Let's go to identity of the function app role assignments should be removed soon let's wait for a few seconds and then i'll add again role assignment is gone now let's assign it again to the subscription and the role will be contributor level access save Now this role will be added. Let's wait for a minute or so and then I'll re-trigger uh, the schedule start function app. We have defined the scheduler but I'll just trigger it manually. So the role assignment is done now. Let's go back to our uh, logic app. This is a start logic app and instead of changing the logic app designer, I'll just run it manually. And this time it's successful. I don't know why there was an error. It's the, it's the same permission which was assigned by the solution, which I have assigned to, but I don't know. <laughs> the logic app is triggered, which, which will send the request to the function through the HTTP trigger. Then the function will send it to Azure storage queue. And from there, the start of the virtual machine will happen. Let's go back to virtual machines. Let's see if they have started yet or not. And perfect, they are starting now. And let's check the another virtual machine too. And it's running too. And you can see that they triggered almost at the same time. So both are running at the same time. Now, if you want to stop this, we can either set up a scheduler or go back to our logic app for the stop. and then run this and this should stop the virtual machine soon and this time successfully run I'll click here refresh and this is success so this should stop the virtual machine now let's wait for a few seconds because there are a sequence of events which happen so this should start stopping soon it took a minute or so and now it's showing us deallocating. It's deallocating. If we'll check the prod VM, it's deallocating too. Both have triggered together. 
and they are both getting shut down. So that means our scheduled start and stop is working fine. And now there is one thing which I want to show you in case you have set up a schedule and there are two virtual machines which are defined for today. You don't want to shut down this non prod VM because you want to do some testing of hours. So at that time you can add this to the excluded VM list. Either you can just make the changes here or what you can do is there is another option. And if we'll go in the end, there is a VM tag option where you will add this tag to the virtual machine with the key as SSV2 exclude VM and just turn it to true. Then automatically this VM will not be shut down or start based on the schedule. And if we'll just remove the tag or if we'll just make it false, then this virtual machine will be included automatically. So this is how you can exclude the virtual machine without even updating the logic app. Now the another option is sequence start and stop. Before that, let's disable these logic apps disable and let's go to schedule start and disable this one too. And in the case of the sequence, we have to do the exactly same thing. Logic app designer provide what time it should run. But instead of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just update the schedule and let me quickly copy this RG start stop go to the scheduled start copy it from there logic app designer go to schedule all the parameters copy so let's copy it here but there is one thing which we have to add here so if we'll go to deploy and configure in the documentation what you have to add is sequence is equal to true. This is one thing which you have to add. Rest everything is same. So sequence is true now. And let's save it. And only just defining the sequence will not work. We have to define the tag also. So let's define the tag for because this is for start. So let's define the tag and go back here. And copy the tag sequence start. Let's go back to virtual machine. I want to start prod VM first. So let's go here go to the tags, add a tag start. So I want it to start first. But if I'll just go ahead and add the sequence stop and I want to stop it the second. So I'll apply the changes. Same for the non prod VM. The start will be number two. And the stop will be one. Let's copy the start also. And start will be two. Apply the changes. So let's quickly check sequence stop is number one here, but because we are just going to start it and right now it's in stop state. So we'll just start it. So if we'll go to the tags, sequence start is two. However, the prod VM sequence start is one. So let's quickly go back to logic app and we have defined everything here. Overview. Let me, did I just save it? Let me quickly check schedule. Yep. That looks good overview and we can define the schedule and make it run on based on the time. But anyways, when I'll enable it, it'll run. So just check for now. There is no run history, enable it and it's successful. So let's go to the VMs. And keep refreshing it. Sometimes it takes a minute or so. So let's keep refreshing to check when it's going to start. It's updating now. Let's quickly check the non pod VM. However, it's still in stop. So that means first 
this VM will will start. It's starting. Let's check again. Still in stock. So that's what I wanted to show and it's running now and if we'll go back again still in stock and now after a couple of minutes it's starting now and it's running. So let's quickly check how much time it takes because in the documentation it's not mentioned in the sequence whether it provides a feedback to the function app or or it just wait for a few minutes and then do it. Let's go to the activity log. So four minutes ago. I think it's a feedback from the VM because it started four minutes ago. And it is not even updated because it's not up completely. And once it will be it will just show. So that means there was a difference of around four minutes till the function gets the feedback from the virtual machine that it started successfully and working. Then the function starts the another VM based on the sequence. We can disable this too. And similarly, the stop logic app will also work where we have to define the schedule and provide the sequence is true. So based on the sequence applied as tags, these virtual machine can be stopped. So there is one more logic app which is auto stop which works on the CPU utilization. So if you'll go to the logic app designer, recurrence is same. You have to define it when it should happen and auto stop. So here it's clearly mentioned that it will stop for the percentage CPU which should be less than the threshold. The threshold is 5% and it checks every five minutes and you have to define the time window when it's going to stop and in the scheduler you have to define when it's going to start. So you will define after 6 p.m. to morning 9 a.m. So you have to define 9 a.m. here and in the recurrence you have to define the 6 p.m. there. So after 6 p.m. every 5 minutes it will check and if the utilization is below 5% automatically that virtual machine will be shut down. One last thing I want to show is the dashboard. However, previously it wasn't working for me. Let's check if it's working now. Go to dashboard. And same. Not pulling up data from application insights and the log analytics workspace. But if we'll go to application insight, let's go to resource group. RG start stop. And there is application inside. If you'll go in application inside, the data sh is fine because it's showing all the failed requests and the server response time and the request which we have triggered. The problem is that this solution is a bit complex and to troubleshoot it takes a lot of efforts. So, but for this video, I'm not going to troubleshoot it and everything is working fine apart from the dashboard, which we can just ignore. And that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.